Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a face off between two of my favourite concealers which I also use as highlighters um, under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a bit on my forehead and also um, under the areas where I also contour. They are the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer by Urban Decay and the Maybelline Anti-Eye Eraser. I love these two concealers and those of you who've watched some of my videos, I'm constantly just using either or. These are so quick and easy to use. I use them with a damp beauty blender sponge but you can use your fingertips if you wanted to as well. Um, but I always, always, always set them just to help prevent creases under the eyes as well. So in this video I'm going to show you the actual application, the way I do it and also just focus on one half of the face with each of the products um, so that you all can see the effectiveness of them. Normally, which you will also see in a lot of my videos, I use a orange corrector under my eyes just to help the dark circles but I'm not going to in this video so you can see the full application of this and the full effects of these concealer stroke highlighters. Okay, so I've already done my eye makeup, the top half anyway, and my eyebrows. And I have primed my face with the Infallible Primer by L'Oreal. And I'm going to get started with the Maybelline one, which is the Maybelline Anti-Eye Eraser. All you do is quick clicks and then apply. And then I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to try and stay on to one side. A tiny bit on my forehead and also the areas, just a few more clicks, just this area here. So that's the Maybelline side. Then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay one and this one you literally just pull out with an applicator like this. And again, just take it down, upside down triangle, bit on my forehead, down the side of my nose and also just under the area where I would contour. So automatically you can see the colour difference. This one I feel is a bit more thicker in, cons in consistency and a bit more coverage as well. Um, and the Maybelline one is slightly more sheer but it goes on really well. If you do use a orange concealer um, or correct under your eyes, I think either or, whichever you use, will get a better finish And anyway with the uh, appearance of them. So I'm just going to get two different beauty blenders. I've actually dampened them really well with the MAC Fix Plus Spray and I'm just going to dab them out, uh, the concealers out. You don't really want to keep the concealer on for that long without um, setting it um, because it can crease quite quickly as well so you want to be quite quick with it so that's this side done and then this side with the black one so that's just one application of them I personally would go over this side again but I'm just going to show you the one application of both of them. Okay, so before I go and set the areas that I've um, concealed or highlighted, I'm going to be going over with the MAC Face and Body Foundation. And this is in the shade C5. And this is just in the, area, the other areas where I haven't um, put the concealer. Okay, so I'm going to then set those areas where I've concealed with the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm going to use a Morphe E3 brush for that. For the rest of my face, I'm using the Studio Fix powder foundation in the shade NC43.5. just lightly not too heavy so then for contour and highlighting I'm going to be using my sleek palette in the shade medium just using the MAC 100 brush for the contouring Okay. 
and then on my forehead. For my blush, I'm using the NYX blush in the shade Cinnamon. So I'm going to do this before I um, put my highlighter on. And I'm using the Nanshi blush brush for this. So for highlighting, I'm using the Morphe M501 brush. Just gives it a softer touch so it's not too harsh with the uh, highlight. And then I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose as well and a bit on my cupid's bow. Okay, so all I've done is pop some Rimmel Scandalized Black Eye Pencil on my lower waterline and just some mascara. I didn't put too much um, on under there because I didn't want to draw the attention away from the concealers, which is the main purpose of this video. For my lips, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Soft Lilac and then went over the top of that with the NYX uh, Matte Lip Cream in the shade Buenos Aires. Okay, so these are the look with the um, concealer stroke highlighters. This one is the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer by Urban Decay and this side is the Maybelline Eye Eraser side. Whichever concealer I use, for me, I personally always prefer to use the orange corrector only because I do get lots of dark circles um, but not everybody needs them so it is an optional thing and I would recommend it if you do suffer with um, dark circles or pigmentation it works really well to just try and um, reduce the appearance of them but then I would definitely go over the top with the concealer stroke highlighters on the eye eraser side by Maybelline I would go over again over the top of it purely because I feel it's not as it's not giving me as full coverage as I wanted it to whereas the Urban Decay side it has if I bring it closer so you guys can have a look so this is the um, Maybelline side so you can see that there's still like purpley bluey bits of my uh, dark circle still showing this side yes but not as much and hence the reason why I would use the orange corrector first so overall, the reasons why I like these are um, the application, first of all. They go on so quickly and easy. Less messy, because all you need is these. Personally, the sponge part from the Maybelline one to put it on, and the wand from the Urban Decay one. And then you just need a damp beauty blender sponge just to um, dab it all out and blend it out. Whereas a lot of concealers, other concealers, you need your fingers or something to pat it on, and it's, it's more messy that way. So that's one reason. Another is the consistency of them and the way they blend out. It's really, really good. I generally stick with the Damp Beauty Blender sponge, but sometimes I have gone and then just use my fingertips depending on what I have available with me. With the Maybelline one, however, it is slightly more sheer than the Urban Decay one, and I would go over it again. So first apply it on, onto the areas where I want it to, go over it with the Beauty Blender sponge and then repeat that cycle again just to give it a bit more coverage whereas this one, I think one application with the orange corrector underneath would do the job for me so I stick with these more so for evening wear or if there's a big do or something and I stick with this one more for work purpose the Maybelline concealer has 6.8 ml of the liquid and it comes to about £7.99 or something in Super Drugs or Boots. Um, they do tend to have three for two offers so I generally tend to bulk buy them then whereas the Urban Decay one has 5ml and um, is about £17.50 so it is um, £10 more and less product in it compared to this one um, but the effects of it I think for evening wear this one is better. Regarding shades and colours the Maybelline one, I think, only comes in two or three different types of shades. The one that I used is the uh, shade Nude, and the 
Urban Decay one has a lot more so you can get more choice of colours with the Urban Decay and the one that I used is in the shade Medium Neutral just so you can compare and roughly know what shades to go for with regards to foundation I normally wear if it's MAC um, NC 43.5 or NC 44 um, either or um, tend to go so roughly you guys will know what shades to go for but always go in with the Urban Decay one they can do colour matches for you and help you find it whereas with this um, they usually have testers so you can just pop some on and uh, try it at the shops yourself so that's it guys I've gone through two of my favourite concealers stroke highlighters I love them and right now I don't think there's anything that will replace them I've tried several different um, concealers stroke highlighters and consistency wise and the way they work I love these ones I hope there is something that's going to come out soon that might be better because it just shows it's going to be that much better but for now I'm loving these two and I would definitely recommend them these two if you guys want to see any more comparison videos or any other tutorials definitely comment below I'll be more than happy to get that done for you um, but for now that's it and keep watch for more videos